Hello, National University Academy students. This is Mr. Boyette uh, going over with you Biology B, Unit 3. We're going to cover some of the information you'll see on your quiz and also get ready for the CST, California Standardized Tests that are coming up um, in uh, another week. I uh, hope you're uh, may enjoying your biology class uh, and getting through the virtual labs and um, getting some time in class to work with myself and Ms. Erickson. Let's go over uh, some of the key information that you'll need to know uh, for this unit, um, Unit 3 Biology B. So we have, um, you'll need to remember that tissues are cells with a common structure and function. You can read that on page 42, or uh, sorry, 422. Uh, viruses are active inside living cells. Remember that? Why, why, is, why are viruses studied in biology? Because they're active inside living cells, page 340, or, uh, 434. And then um, number three, viruses include a protein coat and a nucleic acid core. Number four, cholera is transmitted by contaminated water. See that on page 447. And then you have, uh, again, this is the, the whole California biology textbook. Make sure that you've read through pages 411 through 476 to go over some of these topics. Let's look at the last five or six of these. You have decomposers. Uh, fungi are decomposers. They break down dead matter. using enzymes. You'll remember that bacteria, oh, for decomposers, go back to page, and fungi, go back to page 421. Uh, bacteria on page 442, the earliest known group of organisms on Earth. We're going to go over different types of bacteria in this, in this unit, this week in class. A pathogen is harmful to living organisms. Check, check read over that on page uh, 434. Number eight, viruses reproduce only in living cells, page 434. Uh, tissues, you'll remember, are organized into specialized structures with specific functions called organs. And number 10, non-motile unicellular parasites, which form spores ca and cause malaria. These are, these are called the sporozoans, sporozoans on page 420 and 473. You can review that. Uh, going over for a second to 473. Um, you'll notice that protists and health is the section, section 3. I'm just going to read the uh, introduction to that section uh, as part of uh, the discussion of the unit. Protists and humans. One of the greatest effects protists have on humans is that they cause disease. This effect can be measured in pain, death, and the medical costs of preventing and treating diseases. Some diseases caused by protists are listed in Table 3. Table 3, you'll see on page 472. And some of the protists we're going to be discussing, African sleeping sickness, amoebic dysentery, curidasis, malaria, and toxoplomosis. African sleeping sickness is a sickness that includes a fever, weakness, and lethargy, or lethargy, depending on how you pronounce that. Um, amoebic dysentery is um, bloody diarrhea, vomiting, extremely strong stomach cramps, and fever. And you'll you pick that up from contaminated food or water. African sleeping sickness is picked up from a bite from an, the infected tsetse fly. 
Gerardesis, or gerardesis as, uh, comes from cr causes cramps, nausea, diarrhea, vomiting, and that comes from contaminated food or water. Malaria causes fever, chills, and sweats, can lead to death, and that's called that's that's the plasmodium, and that comes from the bite from an infected mosquito. And toxoplasmosis, primary danger is fetal infection, can cause convulsions, brain damage, blindness, and death in the in fetuses. And that comes in what happens when you have contact with infected cats or improperly cooked meat. So these are some of the protists we go over. Beneficial protists are, there are many uh, com uh, commensal protists, or beneficial ones, that live in the di digestive tracts of humans and in the di digestive tracts of animals that humans eat. Cattle should not digest the cellulose and hay and grass they eat without the aid of commensal protists in their digestive tract. Protists, which make up much of the plankton in the ocean, help to support food chains. Protists are also the single largest group of photosynthesizers on the planet. Because we all breathe oxygen, we all benefit from the gas that protists produce. Many protists are also uh, detrivores. So they help recycle important chemicals such as nitrogen, carbon, phosphorus, and the environment. Uh, there's a section I want to review on page 473 covering the malaria life cycle. I won't go into that here. I will mention though we talked about sickle cell anemia before uh, and that can be a condition that is more common in uh, people of African descent. Uh, black, black people have more of a tendency towards um, um, sickle cell anemia. The interesting thing, though, is that it protects people against malaria. So while you may have a propensity towards sickle cell anemia, that same condition uh, can protect you from malaria. We'll remember that, that, that historic moment when Napoleon is concerned about his um, conquests against Britain, his, um, he's um, thinking about having to give up the Louisiana Territory to the United States. His army is, is his ships are locked in the harbor, uh, frozen, and his troops that are in the Caribbean are on uh, Haiti, and they're stuck there, realizing that the African American, or excuse me, not the African American, the black soldiers, the, the once slaves who have freed themselves and taken over the island under the leadership of Toussaint Louverture, are now um, beating them quite handily. And one of the problems was, as they were resistant to malaria, well, the French troops were not. So most of the French troops were dying because of malaria, while the black troops were able to defeat them. Interesting little moment in, the, sometimes we think of the tactical aspects of battle, um, and we think about the generals and the wisdom behind the generals, but we remember from history also that there are all sorts of factors, weather, and in this case we have a biological one. We have protists coming into the equation with malaria. Just a side tidbit there to weave in some history into your biology. So make sure you go over that on page 472. Thank you for um, reviewing this. You'll need to go over these carefully in order to do well on the quiz. Keep up the good work, and I'll see all of you in class.